So the breaking news from last night is that CM Punk, Phil Brooks, is to take part in UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Now, for those who may not know a little bit too much really about UFC, well, firstly, it's very real fighting. It's not predetermined like professional wrestling. You, it is genuine fights. Now, UFC began on November 12th, 1993, so over 21 years ago, in Denver, Colorado. November 12th, 1993, saw a truly mixed martial arts tournament. Although similar tournaments were going on elsewhere in the world, the UFC certainly revolutionised and really brought to life the world of mixed martial arts. On that day in November 1993, it was an eight-man tournament, eight participants from eight different disciplines of martial arts. The field included Ken Shamrock, who we all know, a lot of people know, of course, from uh, later UFC and WWE days, and Royce Gracie, one of the famous Gracie family. For those who don't, again, do not know a lot about uh, UFC or mixed martial arts, if you're a wrestling fan, the Gracie family are arguably the most famous martial arts family. It, they are like the Hart family when it comes to professional wrestling. The Hart family, the Guerrero family, they're really instrumental in changing uh, not only jiu-jitsu and judo, but mi mixed martial arts. In fact, Royce Gracie would actually win the first two UFC tournaments for, in the early stages of UFC. Those events were still uh, single night tournaments, so Royce Gracie would win the first two. Now, getting to CM Punk. Now, CM Punk made his appearance, as I said, last night. Um, that UFC, where UFC uh, made the announcement that he had signed a multi-fight deal. Uh, said it was UFC 181 pay-per-view just last night. Uh, CM Punk said in the statement, "This is my new career, 100%. I'm going to go full steam ahead. All systems go after today, and it's going to be fun." Uh, UFC President Dana White who's actually the, also the owner uh, of USC, said CM Punk intends to fight at middleweight, which is a £185, but said he'd be open to £170. Now, as I said, USC started as a one-night uh, single elimination tournament, so you will get, a, uh, you know, obviously, the, the opening rounds, the quarter-final, the semi-final, and the final in that single night, depending on what the structure of the tournament was. Nowadays, as we all know, it's more structured, it's more uh, an ongoing thing uh, with championships like professional wrestling and different weight categories. Uh, obviously, he is going to, uh, it's going to be obviously next uh, year before he makes debut, as Dana White continued uh, saying, he wanted to fight here, he wanted to give it a shot, so we gave him an opportunity. It's not like Brock Lesnar. We're not going to throw the kitchen sink at him. Lesnar had a wrestling background. Punk is going to fight the guy who is 1-0, 1-1, 2-1. That is his, their, their, uh, actually their uh, mixed martial arts record. The record of fights, 1-0 is, they've won one uh, match, not lost any. Like you thought, they maybe won the first match, 1-1, one, one, obviously 1-1. One, one. Won a single match, lost a single match, 2-1. Won two matches, lost a single one. Just to make sure if you will keep it up. Uh, White said he did not have a firm date for CM Punk's debut, uh, saying it could take some time, perhaps six to seven months. Now, obviously, we all know that CM Punk trains in jiu-jitsu and has and mixed martial arts, has done for a period of several years now. Not obviously, there's a completely different. Uh, it is a completely different way of going about it from training. Uh, you know, just as a hobby, uh, in mixed martial arts or jiu-jitsu or uh, any kind of mixed ma martial arts or mixed martial arts, it's completely different doing it as a hobby, going to a gym or a, a class um, for, say, a couple of hours a week to obviously 
being a UFC fighter or a mixed martial arts professional fighter is obviously completely different. So um, it will take some time for him to be uh, certainly past ready. Uh, for, for whoever makes that decision probably will be Dana White, uh, in their opinion, to be past ready to actually step into the octagon for um, uh, an actual fight. Obviously, CM Punk's 36 year old. He uh, said that time, obviously, that time is not on his side. He said that my professional wrestling days are over. It's awesome to be here. Uh, this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I felt like it was now or never. I have a limited window most fighters don't have. I'm either here to win or get my ass kicked. Uh, now, obviously. It goes on about about the statement I uh, snip tells it. Uh, obviously, other WWE stars have tried their hand in mixed martial arts, including Dave Bautista, Bobby Lashley. I would say, though, obviously, not just those guys have tried martial arts. Actually, professional wrestling and professional wrestlers have a long history, uh, really since the beginning of mixed martial arts, around, as I said, over 21 years ago now. Uh, I mean, as I said there about Ken Shamrock, but you also had Dan the Beast Severin, who was actual NWA heavyweight champion while still competing in UFC, and actually won, I believe it was UFC 5, I would have to check that, uh, but certainly won one of the U early UFC um, Super Fight tournaments uh, while he was the NWA heavyweight championship. He had to seek clearance for it. So, no. All this talk, really, like I said uh, a couple of years ago about Bobby Lashley being the first crossover guy, he's not. He's far from it. And obviously, we've all heard the stories for many years about professional wrestlers. Uh, guys like uh, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, just to take an example. Uh, you know, those type of really genuine, tough guys who really would... Uh, you know, obviously, you, know, you hear it all the time about the days gone by about how some people would react, seeing wrestler, professional wrestlers in public, especially those who are the heels or the bad guys, and you know, try and fight them or you know, attack them. You know, we know that there's been many genuine tough guys, many genuine guys in professional wrestling who could actually take care of themselves in a real fight. And it has been something discussed for many years, that you know, if UFC was around the way it is today in mixed martial arts, would we see these guys actually be a professional wrestler, or would they have stepped in the octagon or the cages that obviously are kind of taken off the octagon that uh, many uh, companies all around the world have these days? Would we have seen them even become professional wrestlers, or would we have just known them uh, for mixed martial arts? It's a question, obviously, unanswered, unfortunately, for so many of the guys. Uh, so it's going to be really good to see CM Punk actually step into the octagon. Uh, it would be great. Obviously, it's a great attraction, a great crossover. A lot of wrestling fans are also UFC fans, or will certainly be interested in looking forward and wanting to buy the pay-per-view to see CM Punk uh, fight in the octagon. So obviously, the big question there is. Who will we fight? What is their background? What is their record? How good are they really? And how good is CM Punk? But this is a huge deal for uh, UFC, for Dana White. It's a massive uh, attraction coming next year. I estimate, to be honest, it'll at least be the middle of June, July, perhaps even August next year until we see CM Punk step in the octagon for his very first fight. I wish him well. I wish him good luck. I can't wait to see it. Uh, I think CM Punk knows what he's doing. He's got a limited window, as he said. Uh, and he has suffered the many bumps, uh, the many years of bumps of professional wrestling. So we'll see. I'm sure he would not do that. And as I said, he will not be cleared uh, until UFC uh, seriously, genuinely think. Because although you know UFC in those early days uh, was very uh, undisciplined, in fact it was you know banned in a lot of uh, states in the United States of America. Colorado was one of the few places they could actually hold the very first UFC event. These days it's much more disciplined. 
there's much more care taken over. So obviously CM Punk will only be passed to fight in the UFC when ready, but I can't wait to see it. And I'm sure many people who have tuned in to the past two weeks of the Art of Wrestling podcast will be looking on when CM Punk, Phil Brooks, finally makes his UFC Mixed Martial Arts debut.